Should you draw every day? Sometimes I go through phases where I draw a little bit every day and phases where I have a long breaks between drawing. How often do you draw? Please let me know in the comments because your lovely comments always help me to improve the videos that I create for you guys. So I recently discussed this topic with a fellow illustrator friend and I ran a poll on my Instagram story asking if people draw every day. Well, most of the people said no, and honestly, neither do I. My drawing schedule varies. Sometimes I draw for a few days in a row every day, then I take a break for several days, and it depends on what I'm working on. This might be surprising for some of you to hear, especially considering that I'm a full-time artist. <laughs> when I was younger, I believed that to get better, I definitely need to draw every day and I admired those who could and I was determined to improve and be more like them. And I didn't go to art school and I assume if I was in art school I would be driven by assignments and also the excitement of improving and so on. So I think every creative person can sometimes experience the pressure to practice more to improve and just to practice more in general, but it's essential to find a schedule that works for you. Oh, and by the way, if you're new around here, I'm Eva and I'm full-time artist and illustrator. And I also make tutorials for fellow creative souls. And as a full-time artist now, I found that I don't need to draw every day to improve. Instead, I focus on a consistent practice that fits my life and work. And I believe you can draw less often and still improve a lot, even if art is your hobby and not your full-time job. And I aim to complete at least one illustration a week, which usually means that I draw or paint one or three days per week, depending on the current projects and my other responsibilities. If my week is busier, I opt for smaller projects or quicker sketches like my sketchbook spreads. This approach has helped me to avoid burnout and keep my art practice more enjoyable. And a huge part of my journey as an artist and illustrator has been finding a way to commit to consistent art practice without burning out and setting unrealistic goals for myself. I have discovered that committing to a consistent practice schedule, not a daily one, works best for my career and artistic progress. I often hear from other artists that they feel like they need to be practicing more often. I mean, that's what makes us special. The instant drive to keep painting and uh, keep getting better and better. And consistent practice can make different things for each person which is why I don't want anyone to feel like they need to be practicing art every day or as much or as little as I do. Your practice schedule should fit into your life as you see fit. For me, as I mentioned, I aim to get one personal illustration or a sketchbook spread done a week. And I already mentioned this translates into one to three days of drawing depending on a project per week. If I have a busier week filled with editing videos, client projects, client meetings, or chores around the house, I opt for smaller concept sketches. I have seen a lot of progress in my art skills through this type of consistent art practice. And I have managed to avoid most feelings of intense burnout. Thankfully, I really attribute this to giving up on the idea that as a full-time illustrator and artist, I need to be painting every single workday. It's not that I don't want to draw or paint a lot of my days, but I soon discovered it was an impossible goal to keep on top of other art business, work and other tasks that I have to get done. Taking that stress of my practice has been very freeing and allows me to enjoy my painting days so much more. While I don't pressure myself to paint every single workday, it's still important for me to set goals for my art practice and stick to them. 
I'm also the type of person that needs a healthy dose of pressure and a little bit of stress to stay motivated and keep working. So creating content for my art club keeps me inspired and motivated. For example, this month the theme is forest and having a topic to create helps me to find new ideas for illustrations much quicker and keeps my motivation high. Next month I want to focus on drawing meadows in the art club and if you're interested in that topic and many other tutorials and classes, you should check out my art club page. I will leave all the links in the description and I hope to see you there. So finding the right balance has been challenging, but I think it's working out well for me right now. The balance will differ for each artist, especially if they view their practice more as a hobby or a job. Both are equally valid. As this is my career, I do push myself to get at least one painting done a week. Most weeks I get more than one done, which makes me feel amazing and not discouraged by failing to meet insane goals that I set for myself. There are many other aspects to my art career that keep me busy and my creative juice is flowing. Sometimes I spend the day preparing topics and ideas for upcoming tutorials and doing things like research for client illustrations, editing videos or organizing my studio. It's also great to take some time to read books. I read at least a little bit every day. I also love getting inspiration from other artists as I'm still learning a lot on my own about painting, illustration and everything about creative process. I always put aside time to watch online courses to improve my techniques or creative process. Studying the master artists from the past or visiting local art galleries and museums is another activity that I've been prioritizing. It's been so helpful to discover new painting styles and artists, and investing into the intellectual aspect of art makes it easier to have a deep well of knowledge to draw from when I do get my hands on art practice and painting. I used to feel more guilty when I wasn't able to draw every single day, however I realized that adapting my art practice schedule to fit into the demands of the art business has allowed me to improve my skills without burning out and getting overwhelmed by intense expectations. I really enjoy this creative life I have created and I hope you can find a balance that works for you too. In my experience, taking time to organize and plan has been a game changer for my productivity. For instance, on days where I'm not actually drawing, I might spend time sketching out ideas, researching new techniques, spending time with my friends and family, walks in nature, or even tidying up my studio. These activities are just as important as an actual illustrating or painting process, because they help me to stay inspired and ready for my next big project. One thing I have learned is that inspiration can come from anywhere, whether it's a walk in the park, visit to a museum, or even a conversation with a fellow illustrator or a friend interested in creative hobbies and activities. So I try to stay open to new ideas. Another aspect of my routine involves continuous learning. The art world is constantly evolving and there is always something new to learn. I make it a point to enroll in online courses or attend workshops whenever I can. And these educational experiences not only help me improve my technical skills, but also expose me to different styles and perspectives. And I find it fascinating to see how other illustrators approach their work and art business. And I often find myself incorporating new techniques into my own daily practice. Lastly, I think it's important to acknowledge that every artist's journey is unique and what works for one person might not work for another. And that's perfectly okay. The key is to find a rhythm that suits your lifestyle and allows you to grow without feeling overwhelmed. For me, that means balancing painting with other creative activities and giving myself the flexibility to adapt as needed. 
In conclusion, being an artist or a creative person trying to improve your art skills doesn't mean you have to paint every single day. It's about finding a sustainable practice that keeps you motivated and inspired. Whether you are working on a full illustration, researching a new color palette, sketching, following tutorials to improve, or just enjoy the creative process. Or simply taking a day to recharge, every activity contributes to your growth as an artist and a creative person. By setting realistic goals and staying open to new experiences, you can enjoy a fulfilling and balanced creative life. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and please let me know your thoughts in comments. And as always, thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye!